Hi, it's Sheridan Webb here from the Training Designers Club, which is the place to go for practical L&D support, especially if you work on your own. And today I have another musing. Um, it's that time of year and I'm of that age. Lots and lots of people are going around looking at universities. Now, my son has decided he's not going to university and with very good reason. Um, we are doing our equivalent and we are looking at pilot training schools. So this is all new, all new and exciting for us. And we went down to an open day um, recently and it struck me how the CEO was having to sell their pilot training at two very different levels. And there's loads and loads of links to training design here. So obviously um, he was trying to sell their pilot training to the young people in the room who were hoping to become pilots. But also sat in that room are the parents and the guardians of those young people. And unlike university, um, there are no loans to pay for pilot training. University, the cost of university is a drop in the ocean compared to pilot training, let me assure you. So it was very obvious during the presentation um, that the CEO was appealing to these two different people and he's doing it by appealing to the heart and the head. So to the heart, of course, it's the young people. They have a dream. They want to be a pilot. They envisage themselves in the uniform, going to exotic places. And so part of the presentation really appealed to that. And it showed them about how um, the amazing locations that they would go to, um, the pool that they have when they go to learn to fly in America, um, and all the fun that they're going to have on their cohort and how amazing it's going to be living with people and going through the same experience as you. Yes, it also tapped into the, here are some of the prestigious brands, these airlines that are going to be snapping you up at the end of the training. To the parents, however, it was very much focused on um, return on investment. They were very aware that this is a very costly endeavor. So the figures were there. If you invest in this training, then within five years, your son or daughter is likely to be earning this amount back. So they will be able to repay you very, very quickly for the cost of that training. It talked about the safety and the experience um, of the staff and all the safeguarding and the support that people would get. Um, they talked about, well, what if? What if somebody is struggling? Um, what, what happens to your money? What happens to that individual? What support do they get? Um, what insurance do you have for your finances? Um, and it was all about minimizing the risk. And I just thought that was incredibly interesting about getting that balance right, really, to appeal to the heart and to appeal to the head. And as L&D designers, as L&D practitioners, we have to walk that very same line a lot of the time because we have to sell our training twice. And I'm not just talking about freelancers. If you work internally, you still have to persuade people to give up their precious, valuable time and enroll on a course and complete a piece of learning. So we do have to appeal to the heart and really appeal to the people who are go going to be going through that training. Um, what are they going to love about it? What problems is it going to solve? Um, how much better will their life be if they go through this learning? And of course, the people who are maybe commissioning the training, signing off the budget, signing off the time, um, what's the ROI? How are we going to mitigate risk? Um, how are we going to make sure um, that everything comes together and does what it needs to do to deliver that long-term success? So lots of different ways that we could do that. I'm not going to go through the answers right now because they're going to be different for every single person in every different organization and depending on what that learning is. But it's just something that really struck me when I was going around this wonderful facility with all these little planes about how selling, um, let's face it, it's a hundred grand pilot training course isn't so different to selling a half hour workshop or um, a six module e-learning program when you have different stakeholders that we need to satisfy. 
So do check out the YouTube channel for more videos like this, um, including Dear Training Designers Club videos um, where we attempt to solve problems. Please come and visit the website. It's www.trainingdesignersclub.co.uk where you'll find loads of free and low cost resources and you can join our VIP community. And there's a podcast too, if that's more your thing.